Good evening and welcome to the regular session of the City Council for the City of Weatherford. It is 6.30 p.m. Tuesday, February 23rd, 2021. Before we start, could I have Dave Slider with Grace First Presbyterian Church say our invocation. Thank you for being here. Let us pray. Gracious God, we just thank you for warm weather. We thank you for the opportunity that we have to enjoy warm weather. And Lord, we just we continually lift up those who are still struggling with uh, broken water pipes and, and just pray that you would give them uh, a peace of mind, knowing that you were there with them, that they will be able to soon get back to normal. Lord, we just ask that you would bless this council this evening and the, the decisions that need to be made. Pray that you would continually give them wisdom and guidance as they lead uh, the city of Weatherford. We pray these things in Christ's name. Amen. 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 I'd like the call this meeting. We have a, a, a quorum. We're missing our fine mayor, Paul Paschal. Um, Mr. Cleveland, would you lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Absolutely. If you would stand and join me with the pledge, the and then the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm on the Texas flag. Next on our agenda is items of community interest. This council would like to take this opportunity to thank each and every staff member for the outstanding job that they did in unprecedented times last week. We are so grateful to have the staff that we have and this city council really would like to say thank you very much. I'm gonna ask Mr. Hotop to highlight some of the amazing things that our staff went above and beyond with. So we will have a, a detailed briefing at the utility board meeting on Thursday, but just, just quickly, you know, we had over 200 folks, uh, men and women that responded very early in the morning, starting uh, Monday morning, about about 1.30, that responded to that winter weather event. So those were from all all, all different departments. So obviously we have got the normal ones that you'd think of that would respond to something like that in our police and fire folks, but we had folks from all of our utility departments, so electric, water, wastewater, TPW folks that were out all night long with respect to that. We had parks crew folks that came in and helped with certain things. We actually had a lady that came from the library that helped answer phones uh, down at the service center as well. And so I think what you saw through that is just the extraordinary employees that the city has overall and just their ability to uh, constantly service the citizens. That's what they're all here for. Uh, what we what we saw through that is really the really an event that could have been a lot worse that was minimized from just years of planning and hard work by a lot of folks and so you know what, what we saw through that event and, and what we've continued to see coming out of this event is a lot of our neighbors have been affected by you know if we look to our neighbors to the east and to the north and to the west and even without naming those names we can see some other effects that it's had on those cities where we haven't had those effects you know we haven't had full water notices and so you know after coming out of those record-breaking cold temperatures and things like that we've we've really been able to get back to life as normal a lot quicker here in the city of Weatherford, and that's really a testament to all the fine men and women here. So. Again, thank you each and every employee for the tremendous job you did. <laughs> Next on our agenda is consent items. Is there anyone else who would like to take off, or can we see those as one? I have a motion from Jeff Robinson and a second from Kevin Cleveland. Um, if you would vote on your screens now. That passes 4-0. Next on our item is item 6A, regular agenda items. Consider an amendment to the agreement with Sedelco Inc. to establish a guaranteed maximum price not to exceed 
154,458 for the Weatherford Public Safety Building site demolition. Chief Arnold. Mayor Pro Tem, members of the council, Lance Arnold, Director of Public Safety. I am excited tonight to present to you the uh, first guaranteed maximum price amendment to our construction manager contract with Sadalco. Um, and this uh, particular amendment is for the remainders of the site demolition, uh, as well as preparation for uh, the construction process. So it's really phase one of our two phase project. Uh, and so this will remediate that site uh, be able to give us an opportunity to um, really control some of our contingencies of the unknowns of what might be under the ground uh, and prepare the site to get ready for the thing that we're all looking for, which is the construction phase. Um, and so this is just that first part of that. And we also have our, uh, our superintendent for the project, for the entire project, uh, Mr. Toppy Hollis at Alco here, if you guys have any questions. So. Any questions? I don't think there is any. I have a motion from Kevin Cleveland and a second from Jeff Robinson. If you would vote on your screens now. That passes 4-0. Next on our agenda is future agenda items. Does anyone have any future agenda items that they like to bring forward? Um, Item number eight is citizens' comments on non-agenda items. Is there anybody who would like to come up and uh, comment on a non-agenda item? Seeing none, uh, item number nine is adjournment. I have a motion from Matt Tiscus and a second from Kevin Cleveland. If you would vote on your screens now. That passes 4-0. We are adjourned. Thank you for coming. <laughs>